Hello and welcome. This is uh, the slideshow narration for Saturday, June 24th, 2017, Detroit Street Photography Session number 71. Uh, this is my seventh try <laughs> trying to uh, to fit this all in the allotted space. Now, the preface for this this uh, outing uh, is uh, starts in the 1920s uh, with a uh, an Italian New Yorker, a shy man, young man named Joe Piro, who wanted to meet some ladies, was too shy, so he saw that the guys were getting the gals over at the dance hall. So knowing nothing of dance, he just did a monkey see, monkey do sort of a, a routine where he went to the dance halls and taught himself how to dance. Well, here in the nickname Killer Joe Piro, they had these uh, contests where uh, people would dance until only one remained, and Joe Piro, sure enough, would be the last man standing, the last man dancing, I should say. Um, and uh, he would win these cash prizes. And, and usually people would just give up. That's it for the day. They're, they're exhausted. Nope, not Joe Piro. He would dance all night long and just enter again and again. And then go to other dance halls and enter. And finally, these uh, these business owners of these these uh, you know dance places uh, said, you know, you're disqualified. You, you're you can no, no longer enter into these contests. You're, you're too good. You know, you're Killer Joe after all. That's 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 what they call you. And uh, so later in the 1950s, uh, he came up with a lot of the dance moves from the different dance crazes that occurred in that decade. And, and again, in the uh, 1970s, before he passed away, he came up with uh, a lot of the dance moves that define the disco era, uh, ones you would recommend, uh, re recommend recognize. <laughs> uh, Freudian slip there. Um, well, uh, a photographer hero of mine, Richard Avedon, very famous for his uh, white seamless background portraits of people, took a white seamless background portrait of Joe Pirro, Killer Joe as he's known, and uh, being this frantic dancer that, that he was, the picture is on purpose blurred. Um, so Killer Joe learned how to dance in order to meet women. Well, I started these Detroit street photography sessions in order to impress a girl. Uh, I actually didn't really imp end up impressing her, but I, I kept doing this. And uh, I started in, in January of uh, 2016. I I, I, I um, took some uh, pictures in Detroit, made a three-paragraph little write-up, texted it to her, and I did that for a while. And she she liked it, but she didn't really like me. But I, I found that I liked uh, photography, so I guess it all worked out in the end. So this guy, he's, he, that's CDK. That's the guy I play chess against. I'm going to bring him some prints on Saturday when I see him, uh, of, of the best shots. Now here we're going to go to the first stop of the day, uh, the second best picture of the day here at the skate park. I took some uh, nice video footage of these guys. And I started from kind of far away, um, from sort of like a, a, a wide, a wide uh, uh, vantage. Um, using, using I should add, uh, this, this lens right here, my... Uh, 1979 Tokina 17 millimeter f 3.5 lens, the same lens that uh, uh, Ken Rockwell actually used for for a long time, and um, that he recommends. But yeah, with with this very very wide lens, it started started from far and just continually got closer. There are other photographers, videographers there, and they were getting uh, presumably there's my wide shot, presumably um, uh, crisp photos. So I decided to imitate Avedon with Piero. And, and make these guys blurry on purpose, you know, make my pictures also look a little bit different than, than the rest of, of the pack. You know, he, here, here's a, a prime example. I, uh, you know, it just, it just shows, it conveys that, that sense of motion. Um, now, now th this guy I just showed who, uh, who, uh, this guy right here, I don't know his name. I actually, <laughs> funnily enough, after, after everything was said and done, I went up to him after and shook his hand. Everyone was, was impressed with this kid. Not because he was good. No, because he was stubborn. And uh, maybe it's my German stubbornness that, that, that uh, you know, it, 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 it awoke something in me as well. But uh, he, he just, I, I guess he had never landed, uh, landed one of these uh, jumps before. And as you can see, he would just, he, he would just fall. And, and um, scratch himself up, and he actually even broke his skateboard. Someone instantly gave him their skateboard. Like I guess, you know, everyone just I guess was taken up by this this kid's drive to to stick this landing, and um, 
even a homeless guy bought on the water. Now here is the best shot or the second best shot of the day. Um, you, you see the kid, uh, he's frozen in there. Actually, I did end up freezing them, but I, I tried the blurry thing for a while. You see the iconic Renaissance Center and then um, his friends looking on behind him. I think it's just a wonderful, wonderful picture with those uh, beautiful partial you know, cloud sky uh, adds drama to a picture, a lady in Tashiki dress and her son. Um, I actually met a photographer after meeting these, uh, these two lovely, lovely uh, folks. And uh, there's an air show going on, which you can't really hide the fact of an air show uh, happening in your midst because, well, planes are loud. But what I didn't know was that uh, it was a World War II commemorative air show, or at least part of it was, and uh, the Tuskegee Airmen, the first ever African American uh, all all black um, Air Force uh, fighter pilot squadron, uh, not only did they have commemorative gliders for them there, they were there themselves. The the last uh, living ones were there. Pay three bucks, shake their hand, take a picture. And that that guy, he's like, you better go over there. So I, I did. I, I went uh, near where the event was happening at the Rensen, and horrendous lines uh, were were backed up for for hundreds of feet and and you know the the people were restless but worse worse than that worst of all the security that they hired that day were just a bunch of jackanapses uh all right everyone you gotta empty your packets empty your bag if i see anything in there i don't know if you're gonna get it like the guy was just he was he was almost trying to start a fight and he's he's supposed to keep the peace. He's the security there, and so I, I I turned heel and walked away. I wasn't I wasn't gonna step into that, especially with with my modified camera strap that I've I've shown before, uh, which you know holds batteries and money and business cards and memory cards, but it has a little secret area. I wasn't about to have them search through there and and think it was something weird and end up tearing it apart. You know, it took twenty hours to work on that thing, so. It just wasn't worth it to me. So here we have the next stop on our journey through this day, uh, AJ and DJ. AJ on the bike and DJ, he also does music. I, I laughed, oh, you're DJ and you're DJ. He's like, well, yeah, you know, tell me something I don't know. Um, uh, th these two these two troublemakers, uh, there, there's this fence right here that's collapsed. Now, I don't remember it being collapsed before, but certainly it was the day that I was there. And, and AJ wanted to ride his bike on that fence. Um, because it's somewhat horizontal, so I'm like, all right, you do it, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot it. So I shoot it, and right after I'm done filming it, I look, and what, what is contained by that fence? Cop cars, Detroit police cars, and worse off, Detroit policemen. We're standing right there when it happens. So I look at them, I look at AJ, I look at them, they do nothing, I look at AJ, and he's like, I'm going to do it again. And I said, you're crazy. He does it again. <laughs> And it, it, the second time was better. I'm glad he did it again because I got a better little clip. But I, I stopped and I said, okay, no more. Let's quit while we're ahead or perhaps behind. I do not want to get a ticket. I know you're the one doing it, but I'm the one, I guess, encouraging it by filming it. Uh, so I, 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 I uh, took a bunch of pictures of them. I, I guess I, I've met AJ in the past. Um, I need to get him some old footage, I guess, I shot of him. Now, Now this... This series of shots was, was taken uh, in that uh, kind of walking, that sitting, the new pedestrian area. They, they closed off uh, a section of, uh, I think it was called Woodward Avenue there uh, in downtown, uh, right by uh, the iconic Spirit, Spirit of Detroit uh, statue. Um, this is a permanently closed road to be a, a just sort of pedestrian recreational area. And I took these pictures of this spunky girl. She's like, you know, I, I've been hearing this a lot more lately when, you know, I've got my camera on me. And so people say, oh, you're a photographer. Take my picture. In the year that I've been doing this photography here in the city, uh, you're a little, little more than a year. I have not heard those refrains as much as I've heard them uh, this, this uh, summer. So uh, this is my, my second generation camera strap. I've shown it probably two other times in this video. And I thought, I'm like, for my third generation, you know, I've got these these two worthy straps, these just as old vintage straps, um, uh, one that's brown and uh, one that's kind of red and blue. Uh, and for my third one, 
I, I was trying to think like how how can I up the ante? How can I improve this design? So I I, I thought who who's who is the, the kind of person that would be good at this? And I said you know couture fashion. So I I looked up uh, Louis Vuitton, Dolce and Gabbana, and Prada. I guess they had their men's uh, spring summer 2018 fashion shows uh, just happened. So I watched them and and sure enough, uh, I saw that there are bags that have um, uh, just over the uh, the zipper. They'll have a uh, a piece of cloth covering this, both probably to protect from rust and also to hide the fact that there's a an opening there. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Very simple. Uh, but I noticed in that fashion show, bucket hats and fedoras were were much on display. So I walked up to this this gentleman and I said, "You have a bucket hat. Hold on to that because that is that's in high style." Now, one more thing before I get off this whole uh, strap deal. Um, this is my 40 year old leather camera strap, probably from either 1971 or as 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 I uh, long ago as 1969. Um, and, uh, this strap has, has an issue, which is why I've stopped using it. Uh, this little boondoggle snapped at, at the end of the strap. A nice little handy boondoggle. I could still use it. I, I did for several weeks, but, um, Lot Anter, a hundred plus year old, uh, uh, tailor business. Uh, it's run now by the third or fourth generation in the family. Um, a, a guy named Clark and he's like, you know, think of Clark Kent. And so, you know. I'm like, all right, you know, because I'm bad with names, so I always love ways to remember names, and he gave me a good one. Uh, I had him fix it, and all I did was he just sewed this right here, and he's like, all right, that'll be five bucks. I felt like the biggest loser in the world. I'm like, I, I could have done that myself, but, you know, this guy's obviously his business, hundred over 100 years of, uh, of of combined experience, you know, I guess that, you know, that led up to that moment. Um, and, uh, not to mention the fact that he does work for free for veterans and will repair American flags for free. So before I left though, I said, I showed him, I showed him my strap and I said, what, what do you think? You know, any comments? And, and he's like, he's like, I think it's wonderful. I think it's clever. Uh, you did a really good job. And he's actually, he was somewhat surprised. I don't mean to be self-serving here, but I, I was quite happy to hear that from, uh, from him. Now, continuing on with the, uh, the, the photos now, like like I said, the, the the clouds were quite dramatic, and uh, so I wanted to get as many as as possible. You know, I, I kept looking up using my seventeen millimeter lens, and and here I uh, this is the belt, a uh, an alley that, that exists between uh, the structures of the Z parking garage, and there was a, a an art show that happened, and they also had some live music. Uh, Flint Eastwood came and did a live show. Everything was free. I almost brought someone along, but uh, I didn't quite. Didn't quite pan out that day, but um, I, you know, I kept walking back to my car, trying to, uh, uh, you know, hydrate myself, and uh, so that, that kept putting me back in the path of uh, of Greektown where I park, and I had this epiphany of a photo here with with these dramatic clouds, uh, this triangle shape, and just the clouds reflecting on the. Um, on the building, just just a wonderful, in my opinion, a wonderful photo. And I, I even walked back and, and recomposed and took it a second time. But the first time really was was the one. Uh, but I, you know, a lot of times, you know, I, I say I take nothing pictures. You know, I, I, I treat them as like a down payment. You know, I'll I'll do it better next time. Um, or or even I might call them sketches. You know, for you know rough 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 drafts for the future. But uh, that was uh, a particular photo that worked right on the spot but there there is one photo one composition here at the end of the day that um i'll get to and i'll point it out that uh, i i want to i want to return to that scene and, and see if i can get it better because i wasn't quite satisfied with uh, my initial attempts um but but yeah as you see here uh, this is sort of i, I guess the the pulp the filler <laughs> i'm showing every photo and this like i i guess uh these, these are just uh uh sketch shots, you know, nothing photos. I, I, I kept trying to figure out, you know, th this, this, this lens here, it's a, it's a 3.5. It's not like the, the nicest glass. And, um, I was trying to figure out like, how do I make the most of this ultra wide lens? And so a lot of experimentation, a lot of, you know, 
maybe pictures that might not be my best work, but I, I I'm pushing myself. I, I'm I'm trying to see what what are the uh, the the outer limits that I could have with this this lens and and uh, here's a great example of of the width of, of the lens at work. I'm very close to this uh, particular lady here. This this subject. I'm not very far from her. Is what I'm trying to say. I've never met her in my life, and uh, I just love that she's she's got all these you know the pattern, the pattern, and just behind her, it's just very symbiotic, complementary sort of situation here. Um, now walking back to uh, to uh, uh, Greek town to hydrate again, three dollars for a bottle of water. So I just brought a bunch of bottles. You can get a whole case for that much money, um, and uh, I brought crackers. I, I used to think I was tough and I would I would stay in the city and not eat the whole day for 10 hours and uh you know looking looking to how you know different organs through treatment or mistreatment <laughs> change over over uh ensuing decades in in a, the average life I I decided I I should probably try to be a little bit healthier when I'm in the city. Now here is that sketch photo I I, I mentioned. Uh, it, it just kind of looks like steps, you know, is it glass half full, half empty, or are the steps ascending or descending? Um, I just, I love this picture, but I, I kept taking it again and again, and I just wasn't kind of getting what I, what I hoped it would be. But that was, as I said, my, my, my biggest sketch of a, of a photo. I, I want to return to that scene and see if I can do it any better than I did already. Um, now the Ren Sen, I'm, I'm learning to to appreciate a little bit more. I I, I really hope I can uh, can get some some really great shots of it one day. But I, I I really think I haven't really scratched the surface of that of that lens. Now I took I took a 10 second time lapse right here. I'm very happy about that time lapse. And uh, I went down, and there there is a guy, he's a human statue, a street performer. So then I returned and I took another 10 second. I uh, uh, time lapse right here of this this street performer man, um, and then yet another <laughs> ten second time lapse. I, uh, I I should say it was it was ten seconds of footage, but the time lapse took ten minutes to uh, to capture. Um, and uh, you know a lot of people were dressed up. These ladies weren't particularly dressed up, nor were they. Uh, I would say particularly cultured. Uh, they were kind of uh, odd, odd ladies. But uh, again, experimenting with uh, with with the sky here, um, uh, the chiaroscuro, the 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 light and dark uh, elements uh, w w that you can get when you expose a certain way. And um, uh, this is just headed back into downtown and. And here uh, we'll get to a picture where I focused it wrong, uh, of uh, Saganaki. Here it is. Now she's blurry. This is like this is I, I did this with my 55 1.2 lens I got for 120 bucks. This uh, 1977 lens. Um, I should have focused on the Saganaki on the on the flaming cheese and the Kasari cheese. I was on fire there instead of this lady's face, which I ended up doing. Her face is in focus and the cheese is blurry, but the cheese, the thing, the thing, the what's, what's interesting in this picture, the cheese, the fire, there's a flame, you know, like I, I, I done messed up. Uh, but now I'm going to run out the photos. Uh, I, 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 I caught these street performers. They're in a band called Honey Monsoon. And I, I took a, a video of them. I even brought my, my microphone out, but I forgot that that, that my sh regular shooting camera, the, the audio input, no longer functioned. So next time, and uh, well, uh, I'm I'm in the waning seconds of this uh, of this recording. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. I I I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. God bless you. I I, I tip my my uh, drink to you, my uh, homemade lemonade, sugar water lemon this time. Uh, au revoir. Pray for me. I pray for you. Take care.